Hey everyone, how's it going? Have you considered moving to another city and thought maybe Chicago or Memphis might be a good fit? Or maybe you already live in one of these cities and you want to know how they stack up against other places. If so, stick around while we compare Chicago and Memphis to find out which city is worse. One of the first considerations a person makes when finding a place to live is whether or not they can afford it. So let's take a look at cost of living. In Memphis, the overall cost of living is 21% below the national average. They fall below the average in all categories, including groceries, healthcare, transportation, utilities, and housing. The median home price is 38% below the national average at only $93,700. In Chicago, that would probably get you a fixer upper. The median home price there is $225,200, which is 17% above the national average. If you prefer to rent, you can expect to pay $987 in Chicago and $842 in Memphis. So Memphis is definitely the more affordable city of the two. The median household income for the nation is $55,322. So let's see how the two cities compare to that. In Memphis, the median household income is $39,975, which is not only below the national median, but also below the Tennessee state median of $46,574. The median household income in Chicago is $50,434, which is lower than the national median and the Illinois median of $59,196. The average income for men in Memphis is $27,363, and for women it is $23,011. Men in Chicago earn an average of $36,144, and women earn $30,441. So in Memphis, people are making considerably less money, which explains why the poverty rate is 27.6%, which is 83% higher than the national average. The unemployment rate is 7.2%. The poverty rate in Chicago is 21.7%, which is 43% higher than the national average, and unemployment is at 7.3%. That means that in Memphis, people earn less money, have a higher poverty rate, and a higher unemployment rate, making it worse than Chicago in the category of jobs. Another thing to consider when moving to a new place is how safe it is. Both Chicago and Memphis have a reputation for being riddled with crime, so let's find out which one fares worse. On a per capita basis, Chicago has 20.7 homicides occur for every 100,000 people in the city. Memphis has 28.5 homicides per 100,000 people, so that's worse than Chicago's rate. In overall violent crimes, Chicago has 1,006 per capita, so that is 164% above the national average. The chance of being the victim of a crime is 1 in 24. Memphis has 1,943 violent crimes for every 100,000 people. Their violent crime rate is an insane 411% above the national average. The chance of being a victim is 1 in 12, so you are twice as likely to become a victim in Memphis than you are in Chicago. Let's talk about weather. Chicago's climate is classified as humid continental, with four distinct seasons. They have hot summers and cold snowy winters. The average July temperature is 75.9 degrees, but they end up with around 23 days of 90 degree weather. In the winter months, they have an average temperature of 36 degrees, and snow occurs an average of 26 days, totaling up to 37 inches. Spring and autumn are mild short seasons, it feels like you can blink and miss them. Memphis, on the other hand, has a humid subtropical climate. Summers are hot and humid with an average July temperature of 82.7 degrees. They get around 64 days each year where the temperature is above 90. The heat typically lasts until October, so autumn is really just extended summer. Winters are mild with an average January temperature of 41.2 degrees. They only average 3.9 inches of snow, but the downside to that is that they have ice storms instead. This category really comes down to personal preference. I personally would rather have to deal with snow in the winter if it means that I can have a mild summer. My hair is frizzy enough on its own without having to add in a healthy dose of humidity. For others, they would rather have the summer heat and a mild winter. Let me know in the comments below which group you fall into. 
A foundation of any city is its educational system, so let's find out whether Chicago or Memphis has a better system in place. The student to teacher ratio in Chicago is 21 to 1, which is below both the national average of 16 to 1 and the Illinois average of 18 to 1. In Memphis, the student to teacher ratio is 16 to 1, so Memphis is doing better than Chicago, the state of Illinois, and the national average in that regard. In Chicago, the test scores are 52% below the national average. Memphis's test scores are 25% below the national average, so they do better than Chicago with that as well. The high school completion rate is 80% for both cities, but Chicago has more people that go on to earn college degrees. 36.5% of the Windy City's population has a bachelor's degree, but only 25.1% in Memphis hold one. Chicago fares worse in two of the three criteria in the education category, so I'm going to say that they are the worst city for this section. Wherever you have large amounts of people, it's a given that you'll have traffic, so let's check these two cities to see which has it worse. Memphis is home to seven interstate and auxiliary interstate highways. Interstates 40, 55, 240, 69, 269, 22, and 555. Chicago has a combined interstate and auxiliary interstate count of 11, including interstates 55, 57, 65, 80, 88, 90, 94, 190, 290, 294, and 355. So Chicago has more major roadways. The population of Chicago is around 2.7 million, while the population of Memphis is 650,000. So Chicago also has four times the people. The population density in Chicago is 11,938 people per square mile. In Memphis, it is 2,066 people per square mile, so Chicago is definitely more congested. According to 2016 data, at that time, 87.5% of households in Memphis owned at least one vehicle, with the average being 1.47 vehicles per household. In Chicago, 72.5% of the households had an average of 1.12 vehicles. That means there were 334,425 cars registered in Memphis. In Chicago, there were 843,231 vehicles registered. Chicago has more cars, more people, and more roadways, making it the worst city when it comes to traffic. Most major cities have at least one sports team for the locals to cheer, so let's compare the offerings of these two cities. Chicago has a football team, the Bears, two baseball teams, the White Sox and Cubs, one basketball team, the Bulls, and a hockey team, the Blackhawks. I also learned that they apparently have a rugby team named the Lions. Who knew? I didn't realize rugby was a thing here. Memphis also has a rugby team called the Memphis Blues. They also have a professional basketball team, the Memphis Grizzlies, but that's it for sports teams. They seem to be more into individual sports like golf and wrestling, so I'm going to have to give Chicago the advantage in this category. Pollution is something that we've all gotten used to, sadly. Every city has at least one form of pollution that needs to be improved. The website numbio.com gives Chicago an overall pollution index of 47.36. They were labeled as being moderate in the categories of air pollution, water pollution, and noise and light pollution. Memphis was given an overall pollution index of 43.95. They were marked as having low air pollution, high noise and light pollution, and moderate water pollution. Chicago has a higher overall index and a higher level of air pollution, probably related to the extra traffic, so Chicago is worse in this category. Memphis scores worse in jobs, crime, and sports, while Chicago scores worse in cost of living, schools, traffic, and pollution, so Chicago earns the title of worst city in this matchup. Let me know which city you think is worse. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content related to Chicago and the state of Illinois. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield.